Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab the Bible and let's dig right in. Proverbs chapter 19. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fritteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seeming seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man defareth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's worth is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is a dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continued dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him back again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple will beware. And reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father and chaseth away his mother is a son that causeth shame and bringeth reproach. Seize, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Chapter 20 Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion, whoso provoketh him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold, therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Consul in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. The just man walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Divers weights and divers measures, both of them are alike abomination to the Lord. Even a child is known by his doings. 
whether his work be pure and whether it is, it be right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord hath met even both of them. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty, open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is naught, it is naught, saith the buyer, but when he is gone his way, then he boasteth. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take his garment, that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice make war. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord and he shall save thee. Divers weights are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? It is a snare to the man who devoureth that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. A wise king scattereth the wicked, and bringeth the wheel over them. The spirit of man is the candor of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholden by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the gray head. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes, the inward parts of the belly. Chapter 21 The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the, the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. An high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is seen. The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of every one that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them, because they refuse to do judgment. The way of man is forward and strange, but as for the pure, his work is right. It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. The soul of the wicked desireth evil, his neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. When the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise, and when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. A righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked, but God overthroweth the wicked for their wickedness. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. A gift in secret pacifieth anger and a reward of the bosom strong wrath. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man, shall, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He that loveth pleasure shall be, poor, shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and the transgressor for the upright. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contagious and an angry woman. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness and honor. A wise man scaleth the city of the mighty and casteth down the strength of the confidence thereof. Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. Proud and haughty scorners in his name, who dealeth in proud wrath. The desire of the slothful 
killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. He coveteth greedily all the day long, but the righteous giveth and spareth not. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination, how much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind. A false witness shall perish, but the man that heareth speaketh constantly. Wicked man hardeneth his face, but as for the upright, he directeth his way. There is no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel against the Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. Chapter 22 A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, a loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together, the Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple person and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureness of heart, for the grace of his lips, the kings shall be his friend. The eye of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of, of strange women is a deep pit, he that is aboard of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thine ear, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee, they shall withal be fitted in thy lips. That thy trust may be in the Lord, I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things in counsels and knowledge? that I may make thee know the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee. Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gut, for the Lord will plead their cause, and spoil the soil, the soul of those that spoilt them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go lest thou learn his ways, and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. We're going to be stopping here today. Next time we're going to be starting from the book of Proverbs chapter 23. I'll see you then.